Hi, my name is Aaron Holstein, and I have a new sample pack out called Boom Bap Breaks Volume 4. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 ways to flip a breakbeat sample. Let's go. The first way to flip a breakbeat sample is just to load it up in your workstation and press play as a loop. Then you can experiment over the top with other ideas to get something going. The second thing you can do is manipulate the loop using the warp functionality in live. I have the warp mode set to beats, the preserve set to transients, and in the transient loop mode, there are some options here that can really change the sound. If you change it from this back and forth arrows to one way arrow, Then you can adjust the transient envelope to shorten the tail of each hit. In an extreme, you just get a little clicks. And you can add in as much tail and room to your sound as you want with this mode. This can be handy if you want to speed up the tempo of the loop by shortening each hit. In addition to changing the tempo, you can change the pitch. When you create a new empty MIDI track, you can drop an instrument or sample here to create a simpler. So let's just take our loop drag it into this MIDI channel. Now we can manipulate the sample in the simpler device. In classic mode, you just can just press play at middle C to hear the loop once. Click here to enable the loop. Turn on warping in beats mode. It offers some of the same parameters as the warp dialog. By playing different notes on the keyboard, the beat will stay in the same time, but the pitch will change. Playing with the envelope amount again adjusts the length of each hit. Ableton Simpler has three modes, Classic, One Shot, and Slice. We've been playing in Classic mode. I'm going to switch to Slice, where each hit is given a different MIDI note and can be played on a keyboard or a pad device. Live does a pretty good job of guessing where the hits are, but sometimes you want to tailor that. You can zoom in on each hit to adjust. Another way to do something similar is to right click on the loop and say slice to new MIDI track. We're going to slice by transients and use the built in preset. There's other presets in here. Live takes the audio loop and creates a MIDI file representing its timing. The loop has been sliced into individual hits. Each hit has been placed on a pad in this drum rack. When you play the MIDI loop, it triggers the individual samples.
Here it is compared to the original audio loop. You can quickly turn a basic drum loop into a top loop using this technique here. I've shortened the envelope, I halved the tempo, I transposed the pitch, and now I add an EQ and remove the bass. By removing all the bass out of the original loop and pitching it up, then you can add a new kick and snare pattern to that using a drum rack. One thing you can do is use the loop to trigger a gate on another channel. For instance, I have a pad here. I add a gate to the pad channel, enable the side chain, and select the input from my drum loop. Once you've set up the gate to trigger the pad with the rhythm from the drum loop, then you can add the drum loop back to the mix and they'll play along together. One thing that helps give these drum loops their charm is their imperfection. They don't hit right on the grid. They're give and take. Some hits are early, some are late. That creates a feel or a groove. When you try to combine loops with a human feel, with quantized material, sometimes it clashes. In some cases, you can do this. Right-click on the loop and select Extract Groove. Live takes the performance timing and creates a groove from it that you can then apply to other instruments. By applying the groove from our beat to this MIDI hi-hat pattern, it helps the two lock together. One way to enhance a breakbeat loop is to add a rhythmic delay. You can use the LFO device with its amount set to 0% minimum, 50% maximum, and map to the dry wet control of the delay. You could have that coming in and out over the course of four bars. We're just scratching the surface here. There's so many things that you can do with breakbeat loops. I would love to hear some of your ideas in the comments below. Thank you for checking out this video.